All right, guys. What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. A big day here on the channel. So I am tired. I am tired of seeing Wayne Gretzky and Miri Lemieux, both of them, on so many teams. I don't have one yet. Are they easy to get? They must be. And that must mean we're getting Mario today. He is my favorite card in Hockey Ultimate Team. I need to add him. So with that being said, here in today's video, we are opening up two of those icon packs. We traded in 75 seasonal collectibles for the one. So hopefully we can get something good. Now, outside of that, we did get new content. It's only a Tuesday. Tuesday's uh, a bit slow in Hockey Ultimate Team. But we did get game day tilt cards. Now, these start at 87s. They can go up to a 90 if their team wins. Now, this game right here, it's just a CHL top prospect. And as you can see on the screen, it is white versus red. And again, the winning team gets a plus three. I kind of wish they did something like that with the all-star cards because there's so many. It's just very saturated with 87s. They get a plus one for every goal scored in the all-star game. And goalies do get a plus four for the win. But for the 87s, I, I kind of wish they did something with the winning team like they are with these. Outside of the game day tilt cards, we get hero cards. Headlined by 90 overall, Josh Norris. We get 89s for Wierenski and Landis Cog and 88s for Tarasenko and Carey Price. Star of the month cards, we already saw those. Thompson looks insane. Primetime cards, 92 overall, Connor McDavid, 90 Mark Shifley, and an 89 overall, Linus Allmark. Some pretty sweet looking hero cards here as well. We get a 90 overall Ziegs, 90 Kessel, 89 Jack Eichel, 89 Dylan Larkin, and look at that, 88 Brent Burns with an 87 Brock Besser. Yes, more prime times. 91 Kaprizov, 90 Darlene, who just got a 99 for his fantasy card, 88 Gensel, 87 Hyman, and so on there. All right, guys, we got to take a look at a few of these cards that did release. There were a lot, but we'll take a look at the 92 McDavid, 91 Kaprizov, and a few 90s that did release. So Connor McDavid, right away, you see the heart and soul and puck on the string. Probably for a Connor McDavid, you do want to see other things like his star of the month looks insane. Booming shot, heart and soul thief there, and unstoppable force on McDavid is absolutely insane. But this one, he gets a superstar ability of puck on a string. Probably wouldn't activate that. I did like Patrick Kane with Puck on a string for his zone ability, but for a superstar, eh, probably wouldn't bother. Next up, 91 Kaprizov. I loved his 99 at the end of NHL 22. For NHL 23, I have not played with him this year, but 202 pounds. That makes up for the 510. I think this card can play pretty well. This Kaprizov applesauce with third eye. 91 primetime Kaprizov. I wish he had different abilities. Let's see. Now his 91 prime time compared to his 90, his 90 has elite edges. Now his 90 is also 91 acceleration, 91 speed. This one is a 92 on both of those, but because of the abilities, I almost want to say I would rather have this one. I mean, I really don't care about third eye. Applesauce, you get a two on deking passing, wrist shot accuracy, not bad there. We go to the Buffalo set. There is his 99, by the way. That was just updated today. He's insane, man. If you got a Braden Point or Rasmus Dahlin, I am very jealous. Seeing guys shut down. Truculence, unstoppable fours. Yikes. We take a look at his 90 overall primetime that was released today. 6'3", 202 pounds. I wanted Dahlin Fantasy so bad. I think 6'3", 202 is very nice. He's also a, a two-way defenseman. So pretty much his offense and defense is good. Now for the synergies and the abilities, again, another card that was released today where I'm not crazy about the ability. I would not waste two ability points on send it. Applesauce, his synergy. Two on deking passing, wrist shot accuracy, and a four on durability. Overall, I do like how Dalene looks, but for the third card in a row that we looked at, just the synergy and ability, I'm not crazy about. 207, Jack Eichel plays good in this game. I would put him out on the left wing. I would not put him at the center. Light the lamp and close quarters. So, you know what? I actually don't mind those. That's a little better than what we saw on the prime times. Now, Jack Eichel is a playmaker. So, skating, shooting hands, all should look pretty decent. And they do. 91 acceleration, 92 agility with a 92 speed. Shooting looking pretty awesome. 91 and 95 for the accuracy. 92's on the power hands. Elite, 92's, 95's there. And then checking in defense. Playmaker builds do look a little lower here, so only an 87, strength 85, body check 82, shot block 86, awareness 89 on the stick check, and only an 84 face up, so I would put him out on the wing. Let's scoot over to the Boston because we got a Linus Olmark goalie card. Where is he at? 
89, 89, 89. There he is. I've heard great things about Olmark at the goalie position. I myself have not used him. I've been using Markstrom, Ottinger, Godlevskis. Um, Olmark has not gotten a go yet, but I have heard a lot about him, and I wouldn't mind trying him out. He's only got a 68 aggression. He is 6'5", 212 pounds, and he has a butterfly effect. Not a synergy of Gladiator. Right, we go over to the Jets. We got a 90 overall Mark Shifley. I've seen the comment section. There's a couple of Shifley fans out there. So let's take a look at the card. 6 of 3, 207. He has Protector. I like Protector, actually. I do. I have it active on my team. And a superstar ability of 1T. I don't really like it this year. Shifley is a playmaker build. The dude is an insane passer in real life. He should have a higher than a 93. He should. But we take a look at the hands. Lots of 93s. 91 on the hand eye. Skating attributes. 91s all the way down. That is with shutdown active. Shooting attributes. 93 for the slap shot accuracy with a 94 wrist accuracy. 92, 91 on the power. Then we take a look at checking and defense. We got 88s on the body check and strength. 89 stick check. 86 shot block and 90 on the awareness. Shifley not a bad player in this with that 63207. The 91 acceleration, agility, speed. For a guy of that size, uh, I think this card can work. By the way, Shifley, last time I looked, the dude had 11 assists. I think he's picked up three or four in the last week or two, but this man was sitting at 11 assists a week or two ago. Can't we get this guy some more teammates? They're not scoring for him. He's a great passer. He should have more than that. I don't know, man. I look at this Trevor Zegers, and I, I just feel like he would be knocked off entirely too easily. Now, I do have a Lucas Reichel that's six foot nothing and 170 pounds, so... Zeke, six foot nothing, and has 15 pounds on him. But the difference is that Lucas Reichel has elite edges. It has wheels. And, well, this card doesn't have that. So I just, I'm not crazy about the card. All right, guys, let's transition to these packs. Let's get our Muriel Lemieux. Let's get our Wayne Gretzky. All right, guys, we are finally at the 75 mark for winter collectibles. So we're going to go ahead and trade those in. We have not done one of these this year. We've been wasting them. Well, not wasting, but we've been spending on the X-Factor player choice back, and which has gone well, but it is time to get a Mario or Wayne. Oh, all right. Untradeable pack. We get, oh, we get choice of five. I thought it was only three for some reason. We got five. We got five. Come on, boys and girls. Oh, we got the green. Which one is it? I think... I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I'm wrong. It is a Matt Sundin. Okay. You guys said the fourth. Okay, well, we'll try the fourth. We'll try the first one. Oh, there is there is so much stress and pressure right now. Just building... No, 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 no. Okay, we got two 84s and an 83. And the second one... 86 Lindstrom! We will t Okay, I'm happy we got an 86. I'm happy we got an 86. But that's not who we're looking for. We are looking for a Mario, a Wayne, and the last one! Well, now, now I have a question for you guys. We're gonna take him and I'm gonna show you. Because now things get a little interesting. His MSP is better, his MSP looks nasty. We have two out of three, but we can trade in a Ray Bork. We can power him down and get an 87. That could be Richard, it could be a Gordy, it could be Messier. And I played Messier a couple times. Richard, they they all look good. I did it. Here it is. Guaranteed 87 overall power up icon choice back. The second power up. And I have a good feeling we're getting an 87. And the 87 is. I thought it was just gonna pop out. And the 87 is Richard. So he finds his way back home. He's been our best pull of the year. We pulled him on the alternate account early on in the year, and then we sold him for, I think it was like 780, which I, if I honestly, if I held on to him, I bet maybe could have gotten a million looking back on it. But in that moment, that's how much I got. 
Yeah, yeah, the guy is 101 years old. He's got true passion for this game. Where's my... There we go. There, you can see it all. At his tier 5, he goes up to a 91. Ah! ah all right, guys. We didn't... We didn't get him. We didn't get Wayne. We didn't get Mario. But maybe one of these days. However, we do end the video with a pretty damn good player in Richard. You take a quick look at him. Now, right now, he is only an 89, but... Guess what? Tomorrow, well, rather tonight at midnight, I do get six Hut Champion collectibles in which I can trade those in for power-up collectibles, so I could put them up to a 91 for tomorrow's stream. So at the 91, he is looking pretty good. Now, I do not have Spark active on my team, but after getting this Richard, I really want to get that activated. His other synergy slot looking as so. For his abilities, Big Rig, Unstoppable Force, make it snappy, and a zone ability of wheel. Now, as of right now, he's got the 95 acceleration with Spark and only 91 speed, so I don't think wheels would be that great on him right now, but maybe somewhere down the road. So right now, guys, he's on the line three. Once he gets powered up, I'll put him on the line two with Roberts and Beagle. So the team is looking at so. Now, Joe Sakic, man, we... Ugh, we built. We got him up to the 89. We then pulled Richard, and... We had to get rid of Joe Sakic for that reason, so I powered him down, and we built a left-handed defenseman, Lidstrom. So with Ray Bork on, we had to go ahead and build Lidstrom. Now, out of the new MSPs that were released this past Friday, I actually ranked Lidstrom as the best one, numero uno. So the fact he's on the team, I'm happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Should be a double upload. Peace out.